Hello, anyone, anywhere, and at any time. Welcome back to Some Dude Plays Fire Emblem Three Houses Blue Lions Part 64. This is Zach, just some dude who likes to play video games. So last off, we finished off this three-day, got to B plus rank. So I, I used to think they were the best. I'm going to increase my supports with some of these other characters. So gifts and for Raphael. He really likes any, any meat product, so. Tasty baked treat. Is this for me? Let's check. Good, he's done. Now, time to head for Ignatz. Casper's in the garden, so I'll do him in a bit. There you go. And he's best for uh, forget me not if I have it. So yeah, he's going to be right in here. <laughs> ah, Professor, the battle of the eagle and lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz. Oh, what a true. Oops. So gifts. And let's see. Do I have a? Good, I have a ceremony sword. Thank you so Now let's check his support. Nope, have to give him another one. Oh, Ignat. Oh, what a true. Let's give him a forget me not. Because I'm pretty sure that's another one is. Thank you so much. Good, got him now. So now I just need to head to Casper and give him a couple of items. Hey. Yeah, so basically this is getting some more support. Yes. And I'm pretty sure. He likes training weights, so I have a bunch of those to give him. Let's see if I got that support. Yes, I did. Good. So, you know what? Since I have to head to the cathedral anyways, I'm going to go give Seteth some items. So, History of Fullwind's a major one for him if I have that item. Right. Yeah, but again, these supports is huh. nice. And hopefully I can recruit everyone. What is it? I assume still I Yes. Hey. So I do not have a history of Fulvalin to give him. But he does like fish and float. This is what This is what so let's see our supports with him. Got him. So now let's go to Gilbert. Yeah, we'll go to Gilbert after I take care of the support here. Yes. Now is a good time, Lorenz. Professor, I understand that you were looking to speak with me. Perhaps you would like some insight on how to write your next lecture? While I do have a great many ideas, it would be inappropriate to... Oh, am I mistaken? If that's the case, then what can I do for you? Getting a bit too ahead of myself, but let's see, it's about the female students. The ladies have complained? To you, about me? Preposterous. <laughs> there must be some mistake. I am the heir of the noble house Gloucester. It is bred in me to treat all people with respect. Well, you are kind of arrogant. Rest assured, you will not find anyone more upstanding than yours truly. Perhaps the issue is that the splendor of my noble presence is driving the ladies to distraction. If that is the crime, I do confess. 
I hope I've not troubled the ladies' hearts unduly. It is the, your advances they seem to find troubling. Though so he's kind of like Sylvain, but has the opposite problem. Outrageous! That's absurd! Who would dare to allege such slander? A number of female students, actually, so whereas Sylvain's pretty good with picking them up and then leaving them high and dry, Lorenz kind of goes too far with the pickup part. Of all the. <laughs> well, I suppose I have offered several of them the honor of dining with me. And Lorenz is quite surprised that about that, but it's probably his arrogance which is why they complain. It is impossible to tell if even the most well-bred young lady is a suitable companion for me, merely by the sight of her. So, in order for us to get to know each other properly, it is appropriate that we dine together. Thus far, they have all declined, oddly enough. For some reason, they seem to be exercising some form of restraint when speaking with me. I would never insist, of course. But I will admit I have, on occasion, after a day's pause, issued repeat invitations, in the fashion and style of a gentleman. It's the repeat ones where they're having issues with. That is the problem. What? Ridiculous! Dinner invitations from me? A problem? The very idea. I am a perfect gentleman, the son of a noble line. I'm a wit like a rapier, and it takes but a glance to see that I'm gorgeous. Uh, of course, the narcissism comes out. No, I cannot believe such a thing. Are you sure this isn't the result of some sort of scheme? It cannot be otherwise. Someone has clearly devised a conspiracy against me. Someone who envies my position, who seeks to soil my sterling reputation with foul rumors. How crude. And of course it's all about you, not about you actually screwing up. Please, Professor. It is beneath you to fall victim to such petty and obscene tactics. I implore you to take greater care in the future. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a great deal of work to do. Farewell. Uh, my thoughts exactly. Hey, now like I said, time to go give Gilbert a couple of items. Oh, good. Ceremonial, ceremonial sword does there good are with more him. Knights, the Plus items. Oh, I can give that Thunderbrand, Thunderbrand replica to Casper. I forgot to do that. This is, this is. Let's see your supports now. Good, got it. So, lost items. Had to have to do a little bit more fetches while I run around and get these supports. Hey. So, like I said, I want to give him this Thunderbrand repli replica. Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. Hey. So I have a silver brooch. Oh, so that sword belt fragment is for Felix. I'm just going down the list. And while I'm over here, I do have a uh, support I can get to. Oh. That's mine. Thank you for finding it. There you go, so. Oh, the silver brooches for Dorothea. Might as well just head there right now. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. How did you know I lost this? Thank you for. Hey, bundle of herbs is for Ash. So I just. I'll just warp to the fishing pond. He's right there. That's, I'm worried. Items. 
Hey, I've been looking for that. How'd you know? Okay. Then... Justin Am Oh, I was right by Ingrid and he didn't give it to her. Let's just get this part out of the way. Yes. Hmm. Now this is quite quiet. And Byleth is going like uh, what I do all the time. I walk up beside someone and they're going to get startled. Okay, I've decided on the composition. Composition? That's right. The composition for my next pink. Wait, Professor? <laughs> How long have you been standing there? You haven't been watching me, have you? Everything happened like I said it was. Uh, no, I misspoke. Did I say painting? I meant to say, uh... You paint? Well, I thought for a while that it might be nice to paint the scenery here. The contours of that tree, set against the stark shapes of the faraway peaks. Of course, I only paint after I've finished my chores. I'd never put my art before my responsibilities. My studies are paramount. I shall always uphold my duties as a student of the Officer's Academy. Whereas art is... A hobby of mine, you might say. Well, art is Everyone always has good. hobbies, right? I'm sure you have one. And especially when you're a content creator or doing stuff like this, sometimes art is a very good skill to have. Uh, nothing comes to mind. Oh, well, perhaps it's different for you, Professor. But it's perfectly normal for people to have hobbies. Reading, for instance, or fishing, or taking midday naps. For me, it's making art. Hobbies are healthy. They're a good way of relieving stress. You might consider taking up a hobby, Professor. Anything to clear your mind. Think about it. It's much easier to focus if you're feeling refreshed. That I do agree with. There isn't a rule against hobbies, is there? If you tell me to stop, I'll stop. I shall never again put brush to canvas. Part of the reasons I make these videos is because it's fun. And it's refreshing. I always feel good after doing them, so that's why I do them. Paint as much as you like. Really? It's okay for me to paint? Well, I mean, if you're sure. But really, it's nothing more than a little diversion. A frivolous pastime. Um, I think I ought to go back to my quarters now. If it's all the same to you. There we are. Done. So let's quickly go have a chat over here. Hello. You know why? <laughs> oh, lost. Lost items. That's mine. I had a second one for Felix, the Black Iron Spur. You know why? <laughs> oh. And lost items, so she gets the Joust yes, Nominate. That's mine. Thank you very much. Okay, so. So I know the small tent hide is for Petra. And then... Portrait of Rhea is for Cyril. Yep. Then Curry Comb and Zog Feather. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at some. Oh, Curry Coma is Ingrid again. Yes, that's mine. Thank you very much. I've been looking for it. Okay, and. Oh, so I have two items for Petra, so that is really good. Didn't realize, but I might as well come back here since I have another support in this area. But hopefully this helps get to uh, be support here. Yes. This is a in a plate at times I Lost items. I had luck. I had luck. Okay, so let's do your supports.
Okay. Nice thing is, as long as I do these, and then I can start um, giving them gifts to get them to be sport. So I might be able to do something I, I didn't it. think possible and recruit everyone my first playthrough. Okay, so yeah, let's have a chat, Gilbert. I am sorry to make you tag along with my shopping trip like this. You are very kind to offer your help, even though this is my duty. I'm happy to help. In return, I will gladly come to your aid when you need it someday. That is a very good thing, trust me. We're going to need it. Though I fear there may not be so many things I can help you with. Could you help me? Could you help with my combat training? Mission's good, but the training's what we need. I would be glad to. However, I would likely learn more from you than you would from me. You made a living as a mercenary under Captain Gerald's guidance. As a comparatively new member of the Knights of Seros, I was not so familiar with his past exploits. Yet, clashing swords with him, even just a handful of times, was enough for his abilities to astound me. You, as one trained by him, must have those same great talents. I have devoted my life to the path of a knight, yet I find your mercenary experience lends your blade Yeah, here's the thing, it doesn't matter how inexperienced or experienced you are, fighting with someone can still help you learn because of the different skill levels. <laughs> Wait up! Catch me if you can! Come on, this way! Get this way! <laughs> it is good to see children able to play and to smile. I so agree there. Always brightens up life. It's rare to see that look on your face. Was I smiling? Please, forget you saw that. I do not have the right to such pleasures. Everyone has the right, regardless of what they do, the, do in their past. The right? Indeed. For those we have lost will never be able to smile again. I am sorry. I did not mean to trouble you with such talk. Come, let us head back. Yeah. There you are. So now I just need to have to find Cyril. There you go. Let's check the calendar. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about anything because the split second I end this part here, we go straight into our straight into our monthly mission, so don't have to worry too much about that. The knights go out from Garrig Mock to take on all kinds of other I thin again. Asayams, there we go. And I am done with those. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, let's see. I'm gonna try to see if I can recruit Lanny. Oh wait, don't want to do that quite yet. Because of my support conversations. I know I can't get her yet because I'm too low with um, Lancet, though. Let's just go get my other Byla supports all the way then. Let's start at the night hall. Yeah. It's amazing how well I'm doing getting these supports with um, my first playthrough. Professor. Yeah, time to have a nice chat with Sateth. Ah, there you are. I apologize for calling you in so suddenly. Please, sit. There is a matter I would like to discuss with you. Now this one's going to be interesting because of how he's been the entire time. I believe I've told you this before, but it is my responsibility to aid the Archbishop in all her duties. What are these duties? Spiritual instruction, ceremony oversight, donation management. 
all of the church's many administrative tasks. So he's her secretary. I oversee not only the priesthood, but also the Knights of Seros and the Officers Academy. The Archbishop entrusts a great deal to my discretion, and I am honored by her confidence. Even when she must make decisions herself, she often seeks my counsel in advance. And yet... Your appointment to a teaching position at the Officers' Academy was a complete surprise to me. I do agree with that, but of course, she knows more than she's letting out. Not only that, but you have also been entrusted with the Sword of the Creator. I was as surprised as anyone else to learn that. Frankly, I am just not sure how to handle you. I am the Archbishop's right hand, and yet when it comes to you, I have been told almost nothing. You don't trust me, and yeah, Rhea's keeping a lot close to her chest. Not quite. I do find you to be a trustworthy individual, but my subjective opinion is not enough. I have a duty to be cautious. Should the Archbishop's trust in you prove to be misplaced, it is the faithful who will suffer most. The nice thing is, is he does trust you, but he has to still be cautious and wary because whoever knows when someone's gonna screw up or maybe you'll turn on them like in a certain later playthrough I'll do. First, I would like to know just how much you know about yourself. You are the child of Gerald Eisner, correct? Oh, so now we know um, Byleth's full name is Byleth Eisner. That's what I hear. That's quite a vague reply for such a basic question. In the future, I would advise you to answer such queries with confidence. As the former captain of the Knights of Seros, Geralt is renowned throughout Fodlan. If you really are his child, then no one would voice any complaint about you joining the Knights. How long has it been since you became a mercenary? About ten years, I think. Given your youth, that hardly seems likely. Come to think of it, I have never asked your age. Just how old are you exactly? Well, um, this is turning out to be all. interrogation. You truly don't know, do you? Just what was Gerald thinking raising you this way? Given your responses thus far, I feel as though any further questions would just be a waste of our time. However, permit me to make one thing clear. Whatever her reasons, the Archbishop has placed great faith in you. Do not betray that trust. That is all. Well, I know for sure that won't happen. Yeah. Okay. So let's warp to the classroom. So two, well, let's see, supports. I still have Casper, Raphael. And those are the last two to do. Nice. Professor. Yes, we do. Hey, Professor. What's going on? Quiet. Uh, okay. Why are we being so quiet, though? Oh, look at that guy. He looks pretty suspicious. Yep. What do you think he's up to? Never mind that. Let's get him. Uh, don't make a move like the Casper. You're being an idiot. Let's keep watch for now. Keep watch? <sighs> it's so boring. My instincts tell me that he's up to no good, and my instincts are never wrong. Yeah, and that's where you cause some issues. Come on, let's get him before he has a chance to strike. You need to calm down. There's no time to calm down. I'm just gonna... Oh no, the path he's walking down leads to the plaza where the kids play. Uh... Haven't you ever thought that maybe he's just keeping an eye on his own kid? There's no way I'm letting this guy get anywhere near those kids. Uh, 
Kaspar, why did you disobey your professor? And yes, he's getting a rightful talking to because I know eventually with this support he's going to get much better at this stuff instead of jumping the gun. Uh, well, I... I am not seeking excuses from you. I ask because I want you to consider your actions and apologize for them. It just so happens that you were correct in your assumption that this man was a villain. If that were not so, he would not have chosen to take his own life upon seeing you advancing toward him. Great! So I was... But, because of your actions, that is all we know. Yeah, where if you followed him, we could have gotten more information and found out who was behind it. There is no way for us to know who he was, what he was planning to do, or if he has allies lurking about. The only lead we have is a scorpion tattooed on his arm. If this indicates that he was a member of an underground organization, we have no way of dealing with it. Are you prepared to be held responsible if his group commits a serious crime? As his professor, I will take responsibility. Oh, I couldn't possibly. What are you talking about, professor? We didn't do anything wrong. Well, let's put it this way. You jumped the gun, didn't listen to orders, and as a professor, that means I'm responsible for it. Those kids might have been Partially. in danger if we didn't act. And we were close by that. If anything happened, we could have acted right away. Right away. I couldn't just stand by and let that happen. And I agree with that, but of course, there's other ways to go around and do things so we can find out more information. Because if he was starting to act, he would have been distracted. We could have got him before he killed himself. I think Casper's support line is going to be very interesting. Stable. And there shouldn't be any items around because I've already gotten everything in my first free day. Yes. And of course he's working out. Oh, Professor, are you here to train? I came to train and check up I on him. It. Gotta train daily. Legs, back, chest, arms, abs. Gotta work them all, right? I just finished training, and I feel great. Check me out. Are my muscles bulging? I guess so. Another day of training, and my muscles are ready to burst. Bulging muscles mean strength. I have to be strong if I want to be a proper knight. Bulging uh, muscles also mean you end up becoming very slow. And I have to eat if I want to keep training. Time to feast. And the other thing is you don't have the endurance that a lot of people would need. Isn't studying also important for a knight? Ah, way to hit me where it hurts, Professor. I know I'll be in trouble if I don't train my brain, too. Anyone who can't get tactics can't be a proper knight. It's just, I'm no good at remembering that kind of stuff. Uh, Raphael, haven't you realized? Your brain is just another muscle. And training my brain instead of my body makes me sleepy. What if I start training twice as hard? Then I should only have to study half as much, right? Yeah, you'll never be a proper knight if you don't study. You really think so? I can't let that happen. I guess I have no choice. I'll prove I can do it. Wish me luck, Professor. For my training and for my studies. Yep. Hey, there we go. Uh, so... Byleth's supports are mm. done. So... Yeah, I'll have enough time to still get everyone else, but I'll end this here and Catherine. Or nope. So four all together. Five. 
Yeah, so I'll end this part here, and when we come back, we'll do another part that's nothing but support. So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, visit somedudeplays.com, and I will see you all later. Have a great day. Goodbye.